If you were surveying animal groups, a question might arise, what is a placozoan? Well, these are animals, which are multicellular, but typically only about a millimeter in size. They move and can change their shape. Um, they can move uh, because the uh, cells on their outer surface can have cilia. Interestingly, one cilium per cell, so they're monociliated cells. And those of the ventral surface can then use these cilia to move. But the whole organism can also change its shape, kind of like an amoeba might. But once again, this is a multicellular animal. And so it seems that there are some fiber cells on the interior, which may be contractile, or perhaps the outer surface forms a sheet, which is contractile. Where do these animals fit in the animal tree of life? Well, until recently, there was only one single species known in this entire phylum, Trichoplax. And so, therefore, one doesn't want to base, you know, an entire classification based on a single uh, species. Recently, a few additional species have been found of these small marine organisms, including one uh, which uh, can branch a great deal and actually reach 10 millimeters in uh, size, about a centimeter. Um, they are certainly primitive. They lack nerve cells and muscles, so they are not metazoan animals. And so most feel that they are perhaps a branch which occurred after sponges, but before cnidarians. Uh, but uh, also possible are that they are as primitive as sponges, or, are, or that they are a bit more advanced and have become secondarily simplified. Uh, in some of this analysis is the genes that they possess. They possess um, the uh, smallest number of proteins uh, in uh, uh, animal uh, groups, um, but they do have a number of uh, the genes typical of cnidarians. These multicellular animals do differentiate into different types of cells. So they have differentiation. So obviously that's more advanced uh, than what we see in uh, protists. And there are about six cell types, which is less than what we would observe in say cnidarians. Uh, there are monociliated uh, epithelial cells on their dorsal surface, so there is a difference between dorsal and ventral. And the monociliated ventral epithelial cells are important in movement. Uh, but in addition, they have cell uh, types uh, which uh, can produce a number of secreted uh, substances. And they have interior fiber cells, although they do lack you know, what we see in connective tissue in extracellular uh, protein fibers.